Martha Andreas, and how important is the result of this uh, vote for e-cigarette users in your constituency? Well, I think it's very important because, in fact, the parliament, the plenary vote, is that uh, e-cigarettes are not going to be considered a medicine. So, you know, this is a big step forward in favour of e-cigarettes users. And, well, it has been sent back to committee because they are hoping to have a better negotiation with the council. So I was very pessimistic about this vote and I have come out quite optimistic. One of the things that uh, the author of the report said she wanted to achieve was that we could be sure of the safety of the manufacture of, of e-cigarettes without uh, classing them as a medical product. Do you have that guarantee that uh, e-cigarettes are safely made, safely produced? Well, I think there are always safety measures that can be applied. They don't have to necessarily be the ones that are applied to medicinal products, you know. The food have other safety measures, so I think it's up to the different member states to decide what safety measures they want to apply. It is not up to the European Commission to decide for them. Just finally, from the point of view of users, e-cigarette users in your constituency, how important was it, did you feel, that it was to, to fight this? Well, I got thousands of emails from e-cigarettes users, so I believe it was quite important. And I made sure I was here to vote f in uh, favour of what they were asking for. So a good result in the end? Well, it's much better than I expected and it's a positive result, yes.